up, guys? I do not have a hat on, so you will not know who I am. I am some mystery person, and we're going to be opening up these packs. You got no no. It's King Brew Pants. All right, you guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and spare you all the uh, the background noise and all the uh, goings on, <laughs> you know, all the uh, the uh, you know, all the nonsense noise in the background that no one wants to no one wants to hear. I'm actually uh, taking a note right now from uh, my dad. Uh, I guess he's my dad. <laughs> VMD TCG. I don't know uh, how many people have heard of VMD TCG. He's actually a pretty. Uh, he's a smaller Yugi tuber. He won the uh, 2017 uh, Next Great Yugi tuber. Uh, shout out to him, uh, by the way. But yeah, the, um, that's that's who I'm uh, taking notes from right now. I'm gonna spare you guys all the background noise. And uh, part of the reason is because I'm actually like really sick right now. I'm not really feeling well. I actually uh, bailed on the sneak peek a little early. Um, I ended up uh, leaving Sam there and stuff. But that's not gonna be the subject of this video, guys. The subject. <laughs> I mean, he's got to ride home and stuff. He's fine. <laughs> but but uh, the point is, uh, the the the, uh, the the point of this video is I'm gonna be uh, talking about um, some of the cards that I pulled. I mean, I'm gonna have that uh, going on the screen right now. And I'm also gonna be uh, kind of talking about the set and everything. Um, I, I feel like it's a really good set. I feel like um, you know, a, a lot of people are kind of uh, selling the set so uh, short. Um, uh, sort <laughs> short. I feel like they're selling the set short, and I, I really feel like. Um, you know, it, it has, I mean, it's not the greatest set in the world, that is true, um, but, you know, uh, like I said in the, uh, in the, in, in my video the other day, um, it's, it's not meant to be like this, uh, meta-breaking set, it does have some kind of meta-breaking cards in there, um, you know, um, Electromites is really huge, um, you know, Hey Trunade right there, <laughs> I timed that perfectly, oh, props to me, I'm sorry, <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, Hey Trunade's a pretty interesting card, um, you know, pulled a Hey Trunade out of that, and that's pretty cool, um, but, yeah, Eugene's not gonna be very happy about that, or maybe he will. <laughs> I'm not sure, but um, you know the card. The, the, I mean, this the set comes with with some just really good cards, and I feel like um a lot of people are, are kind of selling it short. That's not really fair. I mean, um, uh, I mean in in their defense though, I mean Secrets of Eternity. I mean I compared the set to Secrets of Eternity, and they have every right to compare it to that set as well. But um, Secrets of Eternity wasn't the worst set in the world. I mean, it wasn't the best set ever. But Secrets of Eternity um really is only so bad at, uh, because like everything in the set got reprinted and that's that's really what makes it so bad i mean i mean it had it, 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 it itself had a special edition but i mean everything was reprinted in the uh the mega tens i pulled oh ultra rare right there uh that's pretty cool um but anyways uh, yeah that's what that's what really uh that's what really screwed the set over is uh you know everything got reprinted in the mega tens later um in the year and it, it just uh you know all the infernoids i mean everything um everything got reprinted but monolith and uh that's the only reason uh, that's the only card that maintained its value in the set was um was monolith because it was i mean it's a secret rare and a dingy reprinted so <laughs> i mean it just it just happens it was bound to happen you know um but you know outside of the comparisons between the two sets uh, i i feel like um ultra guys got some really good support um i feel like the new mech archetype is not too bad it's not it's not the worst archetype in the world it's pretty good um you know i, I feel like uh the new uh I, the new uh, cleaford genius uh i mean you guys know me and cyber dragons i'm very very excited to uh, be testing out the cleaford Gen the you know the new uh, cleaford genius um, right there, <laughs> there it is. I was waiting on it. I knew it was coming up. Um, I was, I'm like waiting to. I'm, I have to, you know, of course, mess around with cyber dragons and stuff. But I'm really excited to, you know, fit that into the deck and and uh, you know see what I could do with it. I really feel like it's gonna, you know, uh, take the take the deck up a notch. Um, that and of course, uh, you know, whatever we're gonna get out of a cybernetic horizon. Hopefully, we get a lot of good cyber uh, cyber dragon support out of that set. But that, um, you know, remains to be seen. We'll have to wait for that. But uh, moving on to other decks outside of that, um, really, Electromite guy. I think Electromite uh, is going to send uh, Pendulums over the edge. Um, I, I feel that way personally, um, and I'm really excited to see what shapes up. And you know, our, our first event, like at our first events uh, for the format, you know, after Extreme Force, because um, we very well might, we very well may see, you know, instead of seeing like all these, uh, you know, t like all these top spiral decks, like all, that's all you see is spiral, 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 spiral. Like <laughs> let me say that over and over and over again, kind of like a sell yourself short, <laughs> like earlier. Say that ten times, ten times fast too. I can't even say ten times fast. 10 times fast i can't even speak today but um electromite like uh, is gonna I, I feel like it's gonna uh, help even out the format a lot i mean uh, you guys it depends on your point of view i i view uh, evening out the format making it oh they, then i pull uh, speaking of pendulum magicians um i pull the uh, new uh, pendulum secret rare it's a uh, really 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 good so i pulled uh two secrets it's not the two secrets and uh two ultras i think it's not too terrible <laughs> and, and that's another thing like the ratios of this don't appear to be that bad either <laughs> like to boot not only does it come 
come with some pretty interesting stuff and some really good, um, you know, back support, uh, you know, for, for different decks, uh, you know, like Light Sworn, the, you know, the Cle uh, Cleaf War Genius comes out in it and stuff. But it comes out with some uh, just some really in interesting things. But, uh, move, uh, but anyways, uh, like I was saying a minute ago, um, like I'm really interested to see what um, I, I I feel like how I feel right now about um, after the set how I feel about the meta after the set I truly feel like it's gonna um, it's gonna boil down to a two deck format I feel like spirals aren't gonna be you know just all over the place anymore but I feel like magicians are gonna challenge them but I also feel like as a result of that um, there will be wiggle room for a third deck I mean whether it be uh, paleo or invoked or true Drake I, I don't I don't know I mean that remains to be seen I uh, that's that's the kind of that's kind of going to be the point of the video is um what what third deck if if we are going to be entering a two deck format between spiral and and pendulums like i think we will um what will that third deck be will it be invoked i mean we we have no idea but um i that's just how i feel i feel like um the set um brings a lot of rogue decks in the light um and it, it, i feel like uh you know between all the rogue decks and stuff i think we might i see some more top 32 uh, spots go to decks that we haven't seen before or maybe uh, decks that we haven't seen in a while <laughs> I, I really feel like we're going to start seeing that um, at regionals and stuff you know start seeing uh, top 32 um, spots you know being taken at regionals by uh, maybe even stuff like evil swarm with the new with the new link monster um, just just uh, the list goes on guys there's a lot of rogue stuff uh, rogue support in the set there's a lot of uh, you know there's just there's just stuff for everybody in the set and uh, I feel like as that's that's the main thing that sells it short is that I mean uh, it's not it's not a 100% competitive set but that doesn't mean that it's not a good set it just means that it's not for everybody um, but but by being for everybody it's not for everybody if that makes any sort of sense like I think the set tries to be for everyone but by being for everyone kind of alienates your hardcore competitive players that just want to you know they're uh, it's not like competitive players are, are super super stuck up all the time but i feel like for the most part they kind of expect cards to be good and don't get me wrong like i kind of would like cards to be better myself you know uh that i kind of made that joke in the in my old uh, organizing commons video like at the end of the video um, I, I'm, I'm just kind of like oh then you know there's you, you organize all your cards and by the time you organize everything you realize the most of your collections crap <laughs> and it's really true i mean most Yu-Gi-Oh cards you know they are, are bad like most Yu-Gi-Oh cards aren't aren't played i mean they kind of sit in tens and stuff they aren't played you know competitively in our you know in our competitive metagame but uh, that's kind of the point though like i mean would you would you you can't you can't have every single card be good because the no cards are good and everything's good everything's just regular i mean if everything's good then everything's regular if that you know you and then, then you'll have just like you know certain cards stick out that are like way way broken uh, you can't you can't have that you know and um it's very similar you can't be having you know a tier zero format um so um i feel like um if spirals after the set um if spirals are still just that good after the set if if uh, no magician deck or metal foes deck or any other pendulum you know mesh together variants if nothing rises to a challenge spiral or if trick stars uh, that's another deck i keep forgetting about trick stars is also a fantastic deck if nothing ri rises up to a challenge spiral then uh, we're going to be in a, in a kind of a tier zero format. It might just be a, tr you know, uh, we will, we will have to see. And also just like I predicted in my about that 2018 ban list video, I, I feel like um, we are going to have to wait and see uh, what's going to happen with, uh, with uh, the ban list. I think the ban list isn't going to drop for, you know, a little bit after the set's been out. I mean, I think that we're probably not going to get a list until, I mean, uh, knock on wood here, but I feel like we're not going to get a, a list until probably mid to late February at, the, at this rate. And it's not it's not for, um, you know, Konami being lazy. It's just they're, they're going to they're gonna wait and see what Extreme Force, like what impact they're going to have. I mean, they're going to wait and see um, if Spirals are still that good, if they need to hit the deck more. They need to see if uh, Magicians are going to be that good or if, or if you know, maybe, maybe Magicians, maybe Magicians and Spirals will cancel each other out so well that like you know trick stars are just the next big thing like we we have we have no we have no idea what that you know that theoretical third deck is going to be or if, or if there's even going to be room for that third deck because spirals are just going to be that good and uh since you know since we're waiting on all that or since we're waiting to see what's going to happen you know like i said a second ago uh, i'm kind of like backtracking but um you know like just we're, we're konami's not going to come out with a list okay that's the, that's the point i'm getting at we're gonna have to wait for a list and uh, just kind of wait around to see 
what they decide to do with that list i mean if spirals are if spirals still are like just let's just say in theory if spirals still are just that strong okay what are they gonna hit next i mean are they gonna hit last resort i mean what what option does that leave them with and then uh, likewise i mean if, if let's just say magicians are just like let's just say magicians after electromite just completely overpower spiral um what do you do with magicians do you do you hit uh like what what do you hit like what do you hit do you hit uh do you hit wisdom eye again do you put wisdom my back to one like you had it before do you put i mean uh w wavering eyes doesn't really have that big of an impact the deck could play fine without wavering eyes i mean it's a good card but the deck could play without it so do you hit wavering eyes i mean not really uh you know do you put joker back to one what like what do you do if you make that deck too powerful because the deck was balanced but if you come out with a new card that makes it unbalanced do you leave it alone until more decks come out to balance it or do you hit it but at the same time when you hit it do you risk spiral being just that good again or do you hit spirals um you know and and pendulums in this uh, theory you know in this theoretical example um or do you or, or i mean or do you hit trick stars too they if, if trick stars are just going to be that good or, or invoked or you know even any given deck i think um for the most part though I, I feel like these these theories are just that like i think they're theories i think that you know every, everything is just speculation at this point and i you know and i'm i'm, I'm, I'm openly admitting that everything is just speculation but um how i feel i feel like we are going to be entering into a two deck format um at least initially i feel like we're going to enter into a two deck format being magicians and spirals i could be wrong um but um and i feel like as uh, trick stars are probably going to be like the third wheel or or invoked or some kind of other deck um the point is i don't know what other deck is going to be most likely trick star um but there's probably going to be a third wheel deck in there but for the most part i think we're going to be entering into a two deck format and if we are going to be entering it into a two deck format i don't think that there will be a list for a little while guys because if we do have a two deck format with a strong with strong enough third and fourth decks to be able to play like let's just say those decks are um you know paleo and invoked or whatever or you know or uh, pa or paleo and trick star or invoked and trick star i mean it doesn't really matter if, if there's two other decks that are that are very very viable which both those decks i mean all the decks i named are very viable um then there won't probably won't be a ban list and if there is one it won't be much of one but uh, once again guys this is all like 100 speculation this is just sneak peek weekend i hope that you guys enjoyed um you know enjoyed seeing my pools and all that stuff uh thank you so much for listening uh, once again you know to all my thoughts i'm really sorry that there wasn't a video yesterday um, I'm, I'm not really feeling good uh, like i said earlier it's part of the reason why there wasn't a video yesterday um i don't know what's gonna happen like i don't know yeah, I'm kind of at this point where I'm feeling sick and I kind of have like a stuffy nose and I kind of, you know, have a have a scratchy throat and stuff, but I don't know if it's going to get worse or if it's going to get like into a, like a little worse and stop or if I'm just going to feel like total complete crap, <laughs> you know, in the next couple of days. I don't know. And I'm kind of at that point where I'm just now starting to feel sick and I don't know the extent of which, uh, you know, you know, it's going to manifest uh, manifest. I, I, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know how how sick I'm going to get. But uh, either way, guys, uh, be sure to, uh, you know, check out uh, check Check out my Facebook page, my Discord, all that stuff. The links to all those are down in the description. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you guys want to support me on Patreon and stuff, the off chance that I do get sick and I'm out of commission for a little bit, um, I actually did add some more Patreon rewards and stuff. I'm at, including uh, being able to, uh, you know, meet me and get get me to go to a regional and uh, meet you guys in person. Um, obviously not right now because I'm sick. <laughs> But, um, yeah, the, the, there is there is an option for that, you know, in, in my Patreon page. So uh, be sure to be sure to go check that out, guys. Um, I'm looking forward. I'm always looking forward to uh, meeting you guys, talking to you guys, you know, all that stuff. I, I, I have the best fans on the planet. Thank you all so much again for watching. Thank you all so much for listening. I'm sorry uh, ahead of time if there's not a video tomorrow. I'm, um, I hope that... Uh, at the very least by by mail monday i will be feeling better because i do not want to miss the mail and if even if i don't feel better i'm going to try to power through it because <laughs> it, it's got to be done guys it's got to be done uh for you guys always uh but anyways um like i said like i said probably five times now thank you so much for watching again and um until next time be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe subscribe <laughs>